said a few things to mum and dad. You said it would be cool. Let's see how cool. I think mum likes you. Let it go. Dad could take some time. A little bird told me you're going to Sandler's still on the loose, so you find her. Well, I'm a kid and he's a cop. Yeah, a senior cop. So you need hard evidence. Thinking of staying? Yeah. You have to pay rent. These guys aren't here because they want to be. They have to be. That's it, guys. We're going home. Rent free. All right, what happened here? We got into a fight and hit his head on a railway line. Who are you guys? What do you want? Don't try calling out. We'll talk soon, Eugenie, when you've recovered. I wouldn't need to recover if you guys would leave me alone. It had to be done. I'll explain it later. But now rest. the interview. But let her rest. Well, I want to be finished with this servile work. Soon. Michael. still be there. Thanks. You going somewhere? I am. Maiden Hospital. Bring some sandwiches. And here's your first noise, Timothy. Is it fast enough? No. No chainsaw? Is this what you've been reduced to? <laughs> One more try before I gong you. What you been up to? In here? Bored stiff. How about you? Oh, drugged, kidnapped, held prisoner, escaped. Same old thing. You're kidding, right? No. The guys from the bakery, they look heavy, but they're not. And now there's a woman. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How about you? How's the bump? Oh, it's cool. I had a scan. Brain's still there. That's good. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't bring any grapes. Oh, it's okay. Just... Well, next time, don't forget. Of course. Do you remember what I said about fighting back? No more running? I remember. That's nice. You've got a visitor. Eugenie's just leaving. 
Cyprian. It's Gertie. Go the other way. I wish I could come with you. No, you better stay and get well. So you weren't unconscious when I said all that stuff? Sorry, it slipped. I'd like to speak with my sister, please. And she is? Teresa Brady. Didn't know Terry had a sister. Hang on, I'll get her. Sister. Hello. What? Yeah. I'll, I'll be right out. Hi, it's a nice surprise. And he answered the phone. He knows I don't have a sister. He's here. So you do think there's something about him? I didn't say that. Keep your voice down. We're going out for a coffee. Both at Central College. So, what if you did? Jenny Sandler goes there. I'm uh, looking for her. She's missing, and I'm trying to find where she is. Do you know of any special girlfriends that she might be staying with? She doesn't have any special friends. She doesn't have any friends. Well, if you do happen to see her, you give me a bell, okay? Is there a reward? I've been kidnapped. And no, I don't have any evidence. Well, that makes it difficult for me. Well, if you're not going to believe me, we might as well Whoa, give up. easy. Let's concentrate on one thing at a time. You're making some very serious allegations. He's doing very serious things. He's a detective. Yet he breaks into my father's office, breaks into my house, fills it with gas, leaves some sort of gadget. What sort of gadget? She was groggy, and there's only one of her and two of you. She is very slimy. Very slimy. Slippery. You know what will happen if you don't get her? Been here twice days and nobody's even looked at my bunions. Tip the call, he's gone out. Maybe he already got rid of the thing. No, I definitely saw it. It's like a TV remote with one red button. Mm -hmm. Tim, quick, go! Sarge, thought I'd catch you. I need some signatures. You can do it, Brady. No, it needs to be senior sergeant or above. Come on, man. Doctor, the 
it's not my ward. I'm in the women's ward down there. Mrs. Clackety, what are you doing here? Get in a second opinion. He's there and he's going to take a look at my bunions. You're in for cataracts. I've got bunions too. Can you not do a package, do you? No. Now, Dr. McNeil's looking after your bunions. You'll see him in the ah! <laughs> Fun. What do you want me to sign? Um, there, there, and... Well, these are not even finished yet. But, Sarge... This sister of yours, I didn't know you had one. Half-sister. Mm hmm. Right, that's it. No, I need more signatures. Save it till I get back. Why don't you go up to Terry's office? Better than waiting here. Oh, she said she'd be down. Well, don't stay in there. Sergeant Gurney's really fussy. So bad not letting catch me. you together at the mall. Oh, Eugenie. I can tell you where you can find her. Want? What's your father going to say now? Two head injuries. Tell me about this. Where'd you get this? My sister found it in a dump. We're looking at Soviet manufacture. Covert operations. Much loved by terrorists. Yep, here we go. Remote detonation device. Radio controlled. So you'd leave some sort of incendiary thing? Yep. And set it off with this. One push here. <laughs> Up she goes. And who's to know what caused it? Or well, who caused it? Thanks, George. So what now? We lay a trap? Are you serious? You can't just go laying traps. No, you can't. But I can. She's nowhere. Gurney. Hi, Sarge. It's me. You remember that girl? You know the the one in the photo. Oh, what's her name? Eugenie Sandler. I ran into her this afternoon. Oh yeah. She's camped out in some flea pit warehouse. <laughs> Things kids do. Huh? What warehouse might that be? Riley's wool store.
try again. Try what? To, to kill me. You could have killed Warwick too. What have you got against him? It's in the way. Underestimated you. The way you face things, very composed. I taught you well. So why are you doing this? We're all controlled by our past. You, me, Ray. The Soviet. Fifteen years ago. Our pasts have caught up with us. We, we end up like this. I'm still trying to take it in. Okay. Phase two. You ready? Then somebody hit him with a bedpan? I don't think anyone hit him as such. Well, he was self-inflicted. Sounds like a lack of supervision to me. No. Right, what you... Look, um, I've been here long enough. No, 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 no. come on. No. I've got to find you, Jeannie. Warwick, no, please. you're not. Hey, look, don't, back to bed for you, young man. Come look, on, Warwick. I have to find you, Jeannie. No, 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 just lie back. Look out, here's a woman on a mission. I want to see Detective Sergeant Matt Gurney. Not your sister? No, Sergeant Gurney. I'll see if he's in. He's in all right, but I want him out here where there are witnesses. Tell him it's Eugenie Sandler, he'll know what it's about. Matt, there's a young woman out here not taking no for an answer. Eugenie Sandler. Here I am, Sergeant Gurney. So I see. You followed me. You broke into my house, filled it with gas and left some device. Serious allegations. Where's your evidence? You came to Bramble Bay pretending you were a reporter. You had me kidnapped. You tried to kill me with acid. And half an hour ago, you tried again at Riley's wool store. 
What is this? Some sort of joke? Get her out of here. Sarge. There's your evidence. You put a device in my house, filled it with gas, and I found this in your car. Listen, I'll drive you. Where to? It's your call. I think you know where to. What do you mean, what, Faye? There's a... Yeah, exactly. There's at least six I can remember. Yeah, that's better. Look, uh, you know my girl, Eugenie? Doug, we should wait for Eugenie. She can catch up with us later. Come on, Doug, we can wait. What, Warwick, Warwick, for heaven's sake, look. Just leave it alone, will you? This Eugenie's the reason you got into this mess, so put it out of your mind. How can I? Warwick, she will be fine, sweetheart. Good, fine. We agree then. No, you don't understand. Eugenie needs my help. And we're so close now, and that means you have to help her too. Warwick, don't get so upset. Hi, Mr. Bethan. Ah. Eugenie, how'd it go? I did it. I just did it. Goonie's on the run. It's your turn to get chased. Let's get you home. Oh, no. 